Hi Aries, this is your weekly day-by-day -day tarot cards reading by M for the week starting 25th of January 2021. We will have two cards per day, every day of this week. So Monday, 25th January. Six of Cups. Ace of Swords. Tuesday. Wednesday, Eight of Swords. Thursday, Three of Pentacles. Okay. Friday, Six of Wands. Saturday, Four of Swords. And Sunday, with the Empress, your influencing energy is Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is a situation that comes up suddenly. It's coming up right now because it's urgent. That is your influencing energy, something that was important in the previous period. And now you are inheriting kind of that situation into this week. Six of Wands on Monday with a Wheel of Fortune. Pardon me, Six of Cups. Six of Cups on Monday with a Wheel of Fortune. Sorry about it. Ace of Swords Tuesday with Three of Wands. Eight of Swords with the Empress. Three of Pentacles, Thursday with Five of Swords, now Six of Wands, Friday with Five of Wands, now Four of Swords on Tuesday with Six of Pentacles and the Empress again on Sunday with Ten of Cups, that's a lovely combination, now the Fool. This information it seems it suited you, something that came up urgently. All right, this both of these is Uranian energy, which is kind of dominant last couple of couple of weeks, and particularly week before uh, this one. Um, both of these energies says it's a sudden and, and revolutionary and something important uh, is happening to you. You did find out about it like suddenly, like urgently, and it, it reflects now for, on this week as well. You are pulling it with you into this week. It seems it's going to change your life. It's going to change your life. You do have these six of cups in your external, as your external energy, showing yourself perhaps with your with your inner child, with your child self, with that first innocent, enthusiastic, happy self that you always carried with you. Um, again, six of cups can be your childhood, memories from your childhood, people from your childhood. You see what I'm saying? Your children, if you have children, end of the day. But something there is changing for you because of this wheel of fortune, I really think. And because this, of this fool, because of all this energy around, I really feel that it is change that comes in your life, that, that this phase in your life is over, it's finished, and a new one is replacing it, and it, you are so excited about it. It came up last week, and, and it affects your Monday. By Monday, you really feel as a child, like you are starting your new life. This is also about the same energy, feeling as a child. You are starting your new life, and you're so excited about it. That's your Monday. Anyway, now, Ace of Swords with a Three of Wands, you do have something new um, on your mind. You are doing something you haven't done it before. It is on your mind and it is clear idea how you're going to proceed with it. Perhaps, perhaps that you did have idea about yourself. Um, what are you going to do? Because Three of Wands is usually career that we're talking about, something that you have started, some new endeavor. Um, you are on it already, expecting even to see, will these things going to have some results for you? Will it mean something for you or not? But look, this is... This is uh, the. Um, this is no fear, no uh, doubt. This is rather opposite. Confidence, uh, bravery. You see what I'm saying? Foreign things always um, figure strongly with the Three of Wands. So foreign country, um, foreign people, um, foreign subject, something foreign uh, to you, something that you are doing now first time. But, but nonetheless, you are bravely doing it. You are right with that, with that new things. Newness kind of is important for you from last week into this week. Something new came up last week. Ace of Swords is your clarity, 
knowing it, knowing truth, having clear mind about this situation, about that what you are doing. That what you plan to do. Perhaps you do have plans about it. You haven't even started. It could possibly be just your idea about new endeavor. What are you going to do? How are you going to make your money? What is your perfect career? And now on Tuesday, that's clear to you. Now that idea about your future career, perhaps. But by all means, it's a very positive, that is a clarity in here about about your career. I really think it's it's about your career. That on this day, perhaps many of you will know which way to go, what to do with their lives, what will be uh, the best way for you to express yourself in your outer world. No Wednesday with Eight of Swords and the Empress. Empress is your comfort zone, all right? It's you being mother or like mother or just having your comfort zone for yourself, feeling comfortable, all right, with Empress. And it is within you. You are all right where you are, in your home, within yourself. It doesn't matter. But Eight of Swords is your environment and it says that somewhere around you things are not easy. You have ideas about your outer world, which are very kind of maybe narrow-minded. You know, when you put very specific rules for yourself or for other people, you know, often we do that. We put that specifics. I will socialize with these type of people and only in these places, only these weekdays, only and at this time of the day. You see what I'm saying? It, it sounds like nonsense, but people are doing that. You know, putting lots of boundaries around around yourself, between you and other people. It could be something like that, because it is external energy. It could be that these boundaries are coming from other people as well. But by all means, you do have this kind of situation that you feel like stuck in, for whatever reason. There is on Wednesday something very unpleasant in your environment where you really feel that you don't have movement. Perhaps if you if you say something or or you try to get out of that situation, somebody will get hurt. Perhaps you. You see what I'm saying? You know when we when we promise to other people, I will help you so and so. I'll be with you for so and so situation. And you know. Uh, uh, taking obligation, accepting obligations, throwing these easy promises, it brings us also to situations like that. And once when we want to get out of it and say no, you know, this solution for this card is just to say no. But then situation becomes tense and hurtful. Always somebody gets hurt. You get hurt. Another people are getting hurt. It's a lots of sharp swords around you. It's difficult to get out. You have to be very, very careful. You know, very diplomatic. Not to hurt people around you or not to hurt yourself. But still to get out of this situation that you don't want anymore. This is certainly unwanted situation. Three of Pentacles and Five of Swords. Wednesday. Now this Five of Swords. Look, this is energy I really do not like. Five of Swords, it's feeling as a winner, but because you managed to discard in a way. It's not nice words, but you know, when you discard people around you, I don't care. You do not care. Your winning situation in here, a moment when you do feel as a winner is now you don't care. You see what I'm saying? Could very well be consequence of Eight of Swords. You were stuck in this situation for quite some time and at certain point, you know, you're not you're not capable to be diplomat and to talk nicely. At certain point, you just cannot take it any longer. And this is this, when you say, leave me alone, I don't care. That's your that's your Thursday when you felt yourself like like you don't have movement, like people do not understand, people do not want to leave you alone, do not appreciate what you do for them, uh, people are taking you for granted. All of it goes with eight of swords. On Thursday, on Thursday, you just say, just leave me alone, just go away. This is being rude, okay? But uh, if that's the way for you to free yourself, that's the way to free yourself. Because Three of Pentacles is lovely energy. It seems to me it's, it's what actually you want to do. It's just to be with people that you like. To do things that you, uh, that you like. To enjoy 
your time, whatever that you do. This is being very practical, doing things and enjoying it. Enjoyable moment with the Three of Pentacles always stands. And I think that is the way for you to be there. You had to release yourself from this sticky situation, from this unpleasant situation of Eight of Swords. You had to do that just to find yourself in your comfort zone, doing things that you are enjoying. Because the Three of Pentacles is your hobby. It's your enjoyable time. It's decorating your home, uh, doing something that is fun uh, with your friends. You know, like uh, you get together with your friends to, I don't know, fix your cars to paint the walls in your room but then you're really enjoying you know doing things together could be also profession could, could be also career uh, that that is for for some of you but by all means you need that to get rid of these people of this obligation to free yourself so you can finally do something that you are enjoying all right that's your thursday and uh, now six of wands you are visible. That, that's promotions. That's riding the, on the winning path. Look, all of these people are looking up to this, to this soldier, to this king, riding as a winner. You see what I'm saying? It's it's like you are promoted and and. You've got people who are supposed to follow you. This is kind of being in a public place, being well known for your deeds and for your words or for something. You see what I'm saying? It's six of ones talks about something that is public, this is rec that is recognition, that is visibility, something like that. By all means, it's winning card and it says you are riding your winning path, you are managed something you managed something all right whatever that is in here you feel that you managed and you succeeded and everybody knows in here that you have succeeded and you've done it well and from now on it will be good way that winning way that good way that prosperous way that winning way you see what i'm saying with six of wands in your environment lovely Five of Wands, though, within you. It, it's kind of conflicting moment. Yes, you somehow succeeded. All right, you succeeded. And everybody is seeing you. Perhaps that everybody admires you. But um, you are conflicting within yourself. Uh, perhaps you're not proud of yourself. Perhaps you have to justify some of your deeds. Perhaps you have to justify this Five of Swords. Because as I said, this is rude. This is this is unpleasant, rude, mean even. You know, perhaps you lost your temper with people Wednesday, Thursday. You discarded these people, as I used that word already, and I really think that you've done it in such a way to discard, to tell them, leave me alone, go away, something like that, in order to find time just to move on onto something that you really like and you enjoy. And yes, it's good. Everything went well. Everything went your way, except that you don't feel proud of yourself for the way you've done it. I really think it's just like that. The way you reacted with people, the way you freed yourself of that situation that you didn't like. You could have been more diplomatic in, in that sense. Perhaps that's your dilemma that you could have been more diplomatic or, or I don't know, or perhaps you are just um, trying to justify yourself because, you know, five of wands is also something like that. You're bringing your arguments why you had to do. They would never leave me alone. They would never understand that I have to move on. You see what I'm saying? But by all means, conflicting energy is within you. Saturday with four of swords and six of pentacles. You are helping somebody who's perhaps not feeling well. Um, a four of Swords is somebody being sickish, all right, and this is helping hand. You are maybe bringing medications, um, um, helping buying medications for somebody, or by all means being helping hand for somebody who is in need. And I think somebody is kind of sickish in here and you are looking after this person. Could very well be Saturday, just like that. But Sunday is beautiful. All right, this is your family. This is your mother. This is your home, your comfort zone. This is just absolute happiness. That Sunday is really good. Kind of going to your parents' place for lunch. 
you know, the whole family is there and you people are really having a good time. Just like that. Beautiful moment on Sunday. Both of these cards are saying home, family. So by Sunday you are enjoying perhaps your um, family lunch or something like that. By all means, Aries, enjoy your week.